Itt vannak, azt hiszem, hogy azt sőt, azt hiszem, nem. Igen. Itt vannak.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We are gathered here today to offer our prayers, offer this Mass for Marta, our mother, our grandmother, our friend. We will be asking our Lord Jesus Christ to receive her into the mansions of the heavenly kingdom and we'll be offering the prayers for her also that she will be purified from all her sins. And finally, we are also going to pray for ourselves to receive the consolation at this time of sadness. In the waters of baptism, Martha died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May she now share with him eternal glory. Let us pray. Free your servant, Martha, we pray, O Lord, from every bond of sin, that she who in this world was found worthy to be conformed to Christ may be raised to the glory of the resurrection and draw the breath of new life among your saints. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is an appointed time for everything and a time for every affair under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot the plant, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to be far from embraces, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace, the word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, the Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge and whom shall I be afraid? One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. Hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. Have pity on me and answer me. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. None of us lives for oneself, and no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will not die forever. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. First of all, I would like to express my sympathy and condolences to all of you and to assure you of my prayers, but also the prayers of St. Emmerich Parish for Marta, or Tutsi, as she was uh, known by many, and for all of you as we are mourning her passing. Imagine there would be a bank that would deposit or credit us every day with $86,400 and this would happen every day however at the end of that day everything that was not used up from those eighty-six thousand four hundred dollars would be taken away nothing could be taken over to the next day saved we could not do overdraft only that balance that is given that day we could use and whatever we do not use we would lose Actually, there is a bank like that. It's called time. Because every day we receive 86,400 seconds. And these seconds are given to us to be used. We cannot save them for next day. We cannot put more than 24 hours into a day. And so every day we do receive these seconds, the gift of time. But again, we have to use it that day. Those very same seconds can never be repeated, but only that day can be used. And so we, as we go through life, even though we know about this, that we are given time, it is interesting that how often we do not purposefully think about it. Like, yes, I need to use up this time. I need to use it for something good. But it is happening to us and we need to truly realize I am given this gift of time. Sometimes this time is under our control. Sometimes we know what we are going through and sometimes we do not. And this is what our first reading was referring to. When it was naming all the different things that can happen to us, 
all the different things that will happen to us, we realize indeed that time is given to us and we are to use it. As we reflect on Martha's life, we realize that she did use this time that was given to her for many good things. She lived a long life and actually she was given more than 2.9 billion seconds. How did she use these seconds? She used it most of all for her family. As her family shared, her family was the most important reality to her and she truly wanted to give many of her time to the family. She was obviously there raising her children. She was there for her husband, for grandchildren. She was truly living for the family and, and not just automatically, but she wanted to tr truly get hold of the time. That is why, for example, she wanted to, with grandchildren, she wanted to really spend really good time with her. She wanted to show her love for them. She was there for us when we gathered in her house, when the family gathered in her house, and she wanted to share her love with food and baking, cooking. There was also the playing of games that she enjoyed so much. And she wanted to, again, use that to be with you. She loved also other things in life, but the first thing that she was there was for her family. She also used the time for many gifts that she has received and she wanted to share it with all of us, with you. She was a very good artist and so she would spend that time painting. She also loved gardening, being outside in the nature and she used that to beautify our world, our environment around us. She also, as I mentioned, when, uh, when we go through time, Sometimes we don't have a choice, but we still have to use the time for something good. She was not given a choice, but she was born in difficult times when during the Second World War, she had to escape to get away as the approaching front was coming near. And she had to also repeat that again, uh, 10 years later during the 1956 revolution when she had to escape. It was a time of war for her at the time and she needed to be tough. And perhaps her stubbornness that she had helped her in this to per persevere in difficult times as well. Coming here to the new country, making a new home here was not easy. But again, she persevered in whatever difficulties or challenges this new country posed for her. She, in those difficult times, was the same as in good times, trying to do the right thing. But as we reflect on the time that is given to us and how we use it, we have to realize one thing. Truly, the best use of time is when it is given to someone who cannot lose it. And that person is only God. Because when we just go through life, we know the seconds tick away and we cannot reuse what we used in the past. But if we give the time to God, who is above time, the time that we live for him is never lost. And actually it is gaining for us even some merits. And that is why the number one reality in life should always be our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And it is through him that we don't get lost. It is through him that our love doesn't get lost. And whatever good she did, because she offered it to our Lord Jesus Christ. She lived for him. She was joined to him through baptism, is not lost. Whatever seconds were devoted to that life of love for God and for you, because it was first of all, live for God, is not lost. And that's what gives us so much courage, so much strength, and so much perseverance, that yes, life is worth living, because Jesus Christ saves it for us but the condition or the requirement is that we ourselves must live for him first. And so this is what she did in her life. She prayed, she came to church because truly Christ is the way, the truth and life. He is the way to heaven, to happiness. There is no other way. And so we are truly blessed when we are gathered here.
because we are gathered here with a little sadness in our hearts. Uh, we are grieving, but we know that we, this grief can be also a time of hope, especially through our Lord Jesus Christ, because he is the one who tells us that death is not the end. If we hold on to our Lord Jesus Christ, he who conquered sin and death can save us as well. And so at this moment, let us reach out to our Lord Jesus Christ and let us pray to him for the graces of consolation. We know that as we live our life, none of us are perfect. We all have our share of faults and sins. And Martha was not an exception. And so one of the greatest gifts that we can still give her is a gift of our prayers. As I mentioned at the beginning, we are gathered here to offer our prayers for her, for the repose of her soul, and for the forgiveness that she may receive for the, so that the last vestiges of sins may be removed. If she would be able to tell us one more thing, it would be this, pray for me. So let us pray for her today in the days and weeks and months and years to come so that she would spend as little as possible time in purgatory and truly be received into God's arms of God's mercy as soon as possible. May our prayers truly be coming from our hearts, from that gratefulness for many good things that she has done for us. She uh, was filled with joy. She loved music as the family shared. And even when she was at the end in the wheelchair, she still liked to move around. She still liked to feel that life because she truly loved life. But to truly love life and to preserve all these good things that we have experienced with her, we need to belong to Christ. So may he be our center of everything that we do. He is the center of this prayer of this mass. May he be the center of every day of our life. May, be, be, may he be at the center of those 86,400 seconds every day that we receive. Amen. Marta, köszönjük nagyon szépen mindent, amit értünk tettél. Sok mindenről tudunk, és sok mindenről nem. Titokban sok minden jót tettél értünk. Most hálás szívvel megköszönjük mindent, és felajánljunk az imáinkat érted, hogy az Isten irgalma minél előbb fogadjon be a mennyei mennyországba. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father where he intercedes for his church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to his. In baptism, Martha received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead her over the waters of death, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Our sister, Martha, was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome her into the halls of the heavenly banquet, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your Son, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Many people die by violence, war, and famine each day. Show your mercy to those who suffer so unjustly these sins against your love and gather them to the eternal kingdom of peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. The family and friends of Martha seek comfort and consolation, heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our sister Martha, strengthen our hope 
so that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming, we pray. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant our supplication, we pray, O Lord, that this sacrifice may benefit your departed servant, Martha, since through, its, since through its offering you have loosed the offenses of all the world, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For even though by our own fault we perish, yet by, our, by your compassion and your grace, when seized by death according to our sins, we are redeemed through Christ's great victory and with him called back into life. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Ima hitung sentit ka. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Emmerich, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope and Edward our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant, Martha, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in death, in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body to our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. 
There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. And we wait with hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. At this time, Holy Communion will be given out and I will be standing here in the middle so you can uh, approach me in a single line. To receive communion in the Catholic Church means that we have to be united to our Lord Jesus Christ with our faith, with our life. So if you are of different faith or if you are non-practicing Catholic, just indicate by crossing your arms that you are not receiving and I will give you a blessing.
Let us pray. May the sacrifice of your church, we pray, O Lord, benefit the soul of your servant, Martha, so that she who received the sacrament of Christ's mercy may enter his company together with your saints through Christ our Lord. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our sister. May our farewell express our affection for her. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet her again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, will destroy even death itself. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we command our sister Martha in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon her in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our sister forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. In peace, let us take our sister to her place of rest. <laughs> 